Welcome to this video where I'm going to see the raw power of ChatGPT, ChatGPT5 that is, of course. So let's just set this to ChatGPT. This is pretty complicated stuff that I'm going to try and get it to do. So let's see if it can fix this problem that I'm having with my code. So I'm going to open my folder here. So it's, uh, what is it, grow. Don't ask about the name. This is not my name um, for this file, actually. <laughs> Probably not going to believe me after you've seen all the names of my files, but I promise you this one is not, <laughs> it's not actually my, my file name this time. This one time, it's genuinely not my file name <laughs> or folder name. Okay, so I'm having an issue with this code right now. Uh, the content generation for Grove, which by the way, if you don't know, SEO Grove.ai, which is currently a Shopify and soon to be also a WordPress uh, e-commerce AI agent shopify <laughs> i'm just throwing words at you automator um and i'm having an issue where the content generator for some reason is just not running it just keeps putting them as process or generating and it does it doesn't actually work now the only issue with that is that it works locally so it works on docker like it, it it's working here but it's just not working on production and i just can't work out why so I have a temporary fix for this, obviously, like I have like paying customers and stuff. So I do have a fix for this. And if you are a Grove customer, by the way, check your check, check your blogs, because it might say that they failed, but the content should be there. It's just I'm um, having issues right now with the content generator. So I want to see if ChatGPT5 can jump straight into this code on Klein and work out what the hell the problem is. So I'm just going to describe the problem to it. Right now, I'm having an issue where the content generation agent is creating everything it needs. This is the wrong model. Uh, ChatGPT5 in the database, but it gets stuck as it's just as pending, um, and the content isn't being generated. It could be a quota issue. Um, where all the stores have used as their quota for the month. I think there's another issue which is stopping the content being generated. Does it need to know anything else? I need you to just look at the code and understand the <laughs> That's really vague. If I manage to do this, I'll, I'll call it AGI. <laughs> I haven't given enough information there at all. Partway through that as well, I realized that I don't actually have access to Claude code. Uh, sorry, not Claude code. Um, MTPs here. I haven't added the Superbase MTP. I mean, so far, so interesting. Um, there could be an issue with the code, like forgetting to commit changes, using the wrong session, or returning early due to shop quotas or prerequisites. Interesting that it's come up with that already. Um, I'm checking how the daily automation task handles triggers for generating content. It checks if content is enabled and whether there's enough quotes for content and fetches configurations. However, the user has a problem with entities stuck as I need to look into. Okay, interesting. So now it's looking specifically for pending. Pretty good investigation so far. Sometimes I feel like giving a different set of eyes on code is needed because like Claude code sometimes just it doesn't cut it. So this is definitely interesting to me. If it can work this out, oh my god. The Every time I have a problem, I'll just open up the code here. I'll just keep this open and just ask it, and I'll just feed it the solution. This could be interesting. Let's have a look. I'm in plan mode as the user wants to analyze the code. Blah, blah, blah. But that's something I've checked. The, um, uh, it seems like the test room is trying to match jobs as generating, but there's still stuff as pending. I need to dig deeper to find out where the jobs might be created. Okay. My key suspicion lies with the blog creation okay so like content generation statuses it's kind of like these really shopify service implementation it's, it's crucial to ensure i'm getting the response shape right this is pretty interesting to see how detailed the thought process is here this feels like an actual like thought process as well i don't know if this is klein or ChatGPT 5 i think it's probably a combination of both i have to give klein it's flowers. Like I use client a lot before Claude code. And I do have to say it did always impress me. I just went off it because Claude code is just so cost effective. Like this has cost me almost a dollar already. So like if I use this as much as I use Claude code, this is going to cost like probably in the thousands. Right. So 
Yeah, it's kind of annoying, actually. But it's okay, we've got a bit of budget to play with. It's kind of just depending on the need to analyze the code in particular. Default status is pending in the generate. Okay, interesting. Maybe the front end expects pending from approval status, but it used. Okay. This was kind of the problem that happened with Harbor, by the way. If if anyone wants to learn from my experiences, I might make a video about this, honestly. But if I could go back, I wouldn't have had anyone. Uh, we, we paid a company to launch Harbor, basically, and then we paid developers to run it. I wouldn't, have, I wouldn't go down that route now, honestly. I mean, to a certain extent, yes, but just not to as large an extent. Like, if I wanted to edit Harbor right now, I couldn't. It would tell me, like, I'd have to call with my lead dev and, like, get, get me set up on this computer. And it's, like, hours and hours and hours. Whereas here, like, if I need to fix something, I can just go to DigitalOcean, Runtime Logs, or Console, sorry. Go to the worker and then make sure that people don't get failed content jobs by just running the script that I made to retry failed content jobs. And then, yeah, it's just fixed. So it's, keep it really, really slim, guys, honestly. Get the DigitalOcean MCP, get GitHub CLI, get Docker, and just do everything yourself, okay? Yes, you know, there's going to be some mistakes and, you know, you might have security issues, et cetera, et cetera. But like, at least if there's an issue like this, you can just fix it. Yeah, there's no way that I actually fucking found it, right? Let's see what Club Code thinks. The queue mismatch would explain why content generation shops are getting stuck in generating states. They're being sent to the wrong queue and never getting processed by workers. Oh my god, if this is actually the fucking... Okay, no, it's not. Is this the issue? No way, dude. Nah, don't tell me that was actually it. I found it. And then it calls the other task like it like. It might not be specifying the right queue. Let me find my content generation is called. Okay. Is this the issue is clear that has might not be properly consumed. Is that real though? Like, mm, is that the actual fix? Okay, fuck it, boys. Let's go. Let's see what um, let's see what Klein and GPT five can do because Claude Code is uh, struggling. It's still. I'm just gonna run Claude Code on the side as well on plan mode. I've just given it the entire output from Klein. I'm just asking to verify this quickly. So this is probably going to take quite a while. Okay, wait, so wait. Yes, the diagnosis is correct, right? <laughs> wow, I actually found it. Good news, the worker is convicted, but okay. Let me check production and see if it's actually working. Okay, well, amazingly, it seems that it has actually fixed the problem. I'm going to test this myself, guys. I think I'll just leave the video there. Thanks for checking it out. I think this is a pretty interesting method. It did actually help me out, and it did help me find the error. Thanks so much for watching. If you're watching all the way to the end of the video, you're an absolute legend. I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.